so I'd do a little response to things you said um, in your post uh, on YouTube, I think which has brought quite a lot of heat probably to that video on YouTube. Um, I just wanted to, um, I just really wanted to point out the naivety and the ignorance really in what you said. Um, initially, from the very start, um, you got it wrong. Alex Jones has never, to my knowledge, um, uncovered uh, any evidence that George Bush is an alien, nor has he alluded to the fact that George Bush is an alien. I think, quite honestly, man, um, I've done a wee bit of research, I think you're referring to David Icke. So initially, the, the basis for your argument, um, a big chunk <laughs> of, um, of your argument should be that Alex Jones refers to aliens, which he doesn't. Alex Jones uh, purports, in my opinion, to people researching, um, to people becoming informed, to people looking for themselves at the world around them. Okay? Now, it may be quite a polemic position that he takes, but that's very valid in today's society because it's such an apathetic society. And if you look at America and being pagan yourself, you'll understand that the majority of the populace is indeed quite right-wing Christian. Um, and <laughs> Alex Jones himself may be a Christian, but that faith in itself from above, from the government, from the institutions, is being relayed down through the populace. Okay? So from the start, I think you should be applauding him. I myself am um, very interested in Buddhist and pagan beliefs. I also believe you should force your viewpoint on other people. But I do believe that as well as being very forceful and angry and passionate, about what he speaks about. Um, he is actually encouraging people to research, to become informed and to make their own decisions. Okay. Another thing that I'd like to comment on was your ref referral um, to the fact that Alex is talking about socialism and you start to talk about capitalism and you start to talk about people being machines, gears and machines. Now who owns the means of production? Um, that isn't a capitalist um, a theory, it's not a capitalist agenda. Maybe it is in terms of money, but if you go back to Marxism, he who owns the means of production pretty much runs the show. You know what I'm saying, man? Um, you know, I'm not, I, I just think that you've, um, you don't really understand. Failing that, you've maybe read one or two articles and have come to a very quick conclusion and have really just sort of popped this out, you know, and your viewpoint might change, and I respect that. But being a pagan as well, you should also respect the fact that you know America and the leaders of America are doing very very little to um, to aid nature, to work with nature, um, and in fact they are pretty much using nature like a machine, um, like a capitalist machine, you might argue, or like a communist machine. But at the end of the day, you know well, people are being treated like cattle. Um, Whereas it's not communism, um, it's very, very near to socialism. You know, it's it's basic. And the things that are happening in the world now, and I live in England, and freedom of speech is being eked away bit by bit. There's now a law in England called the Sokba Law, which will restrict people from openly demonstrating and assembling within one kilometre of Parliament. Now, Alex Jones has highlighted this. Okay, so regardless of his polemic views, he does speak a lot of truth, and that's a fact. The police in England are becoming more brutal, okay? There is more and more pressure being put um, for people not to protest, and that is being conducted via the vehicles of the, the law, the government, um, and it's happening. I've seen it in my own eyes. I've been there at protests peacefully, and I've seen the reaction and the way people are acting. With regard to schools, I would look intrinsically at any system where agents of the government are putting agents into schools. Agents is a very sort of tenuous word, I understand. What I'm saying is, the only people, in my opinion, who should be in schools are teachers and children. Okay, And that's that. At the end of the day, as soon as you start putting people into schools who have a different agenda other than education, then that's worrying. And therefore, it is necessary for people to research, to become informed, okay, 
and the, the truth is there is a media war on okay Brian Hall is a guy now you should YouTube Brian Hall who's been sitting outside Parliament in England since 2001 to protest against the Iraq war okay whether or not it was a facade for the oil or whatever that man has protested okay they have tried to get rid of him and the other day he was assaulted by a policeman okay and put in the back of a van and beat him up okay there is film evidence of this okay I with my own eyes saw brief police brutality last Saturday at a protest in Brighton one of the most liberal cities in England okay all I'm saying to you man is rather than demonize uh, Alex and try and um, you're preaching yourself you, you said in another video that you don't like to preach as a, as, a, as a sort of pagan, you don't preach, but this is exactly what you're doing in your video. And I urge everybody who watches your video to go to your page and listen to your very own words where you say, I don't go in and try and preach. You are preaching. You're preaching about Alex Jones. And what you should be doing is purporting to a more liberal and more open and investigative uh, angle on what he's saying opposed to just completely discounting everything, you are preaching. You're not spreading or encouraging the dissemination of information, which is what we need nowadays. What we don't need, man, is people just slating and um, coming out with absolute rubbish like you're coming out with. You, know, you might be more in intelligent, you might have studied history, you might have uh, done political science, you might have done religious studies, whatever. You know, I'm not slating you, but all I'm saying is, man, history has always been written by the people who won. Okay? And uh, as an Englishman, as a British person, I know that our country's wealth was based on us um, subjugating foreign cultures to our will. <laughs> America did it. America's wealth was built on slavery, you know? And um, you can't discount that. But at the end of the day, it's open-mindedness that um, makes me realise that the people who won did tell the history. Did we ever teach the people of our country, England and America? Did we teach them the history of the people that we invaded and conquered? You know, the reason you're sitting there now, man, in your nice house with your webcam is because years ago, um, people got subjugated, killed, enslaved. And um, what's to say they won't do it again? When you run out of people abroad to enslave, man, and you want to stay rich, who are you going to enslave? You know, all I'm saying is, dude, keep an open mind and um, read more, you know, don't just take what's fed to you on a spoon, go out, research and read, and make your own decision, and it's quite obvious that you've not done that.